Carson. No so. question. Darren, when I look at your game, and we talk about it all the time, you, you know, you're listening to 6'5". We know you're like 6'2 and a half. Yeah. Um, and you're going against guys that are bigger than you every day, every game, game in and game out. And, and I've watched this year, um, and it's just this is just my personal opinion. I, I don't think you've gotten the respect you deserve from the officials for being a top player in this league. And But – no matter what happens, you know, when you go to the basket, whether you get fouled or not, you finish. I mean, talk about that mentality and knowing that, you know, you have to go up against bigger guys and maybe you're not going to get calls and you just have to go play. Because most, most of the time you just got to prove to everybody that you can do it. So, and that's what I try to do. Like, you, you, you know, you complain about the calls and all that. Like, I complain about some calls because I, I feel that some of them I should be getting because they are blatant, but, but sometimes they're not. So, it, it just depends on... Shoot, if I'm shooting, I got to score, whether they give me a foul or not. So it's two points or no points, one or the other. So I got to go back. Um, maybe the biggest shot that you made this year, uh, and I, we got to talk about this, you guys played Boston University in the first round. I think the biggest shot you made all year was the, the shot that forced overtime up there all, along the baseline. You were triple teamed, you knocked it down. And, and I know a lot of fans don't know this, but uh, a scary moment for a lot of people after that game. You played 50 minutes in that game and got back to the locker room and couldn't literally couldn't move in a, a muscle in your entire body <laughs> and had to be taken out of that arena in a stretcher and put in an ambulance. Uh, that had to be just a bizarre experience. Well, actually, it wasn't bizarre. It felt, you know, it, that's the second time it happened to me. <laughs> that's a funny thing. Like it's, it happened to my junior year of uh, high school playing at AAU. We was up Charlie Webber of Villanova, and it wasn't no water in the gym, and we played back-to-back -back games, and it happened to me then. And I had to get an IV put in me too. But then I don't, I don't even know where it came from, from, from the 50 minutes and stuff like that, but I guess my body just shut down after the game because <laughs> I did a double jump at the end trying to get a rebound, and I just was stuck. So, so, <laughs> so you like, like, like break down the scenario. I mean, so you literally could not move anything. I couldn't move anything, and every time I tried to move something else, would cramp up. Then that's then every time I tried to move something else, it, just my whole body went. And I felt like it was funny because my butt started to cramp up, and I couldn't move that even, <laughs> even when I was sitting on the stretcher. And I was complaining. I felt I wanted to cry. Like I was like, oh man, this stuff is hurting. I hope nobody feels this pain. <laughs> but <laughs> now you realize that you know we were all. We got off the bus because we didn't know what was going on, and a bunch of your teammates were standing there. You should see the looks on their faces. I mean, you, face. Look at this, Daryl. You're you're like the leader of this team, and you're the go-to guy. Now you're on a stretcher, going out of the arena. I mean, you these guys didn't know what to think. <laughs> yeah, I know they didn't, but uh, like I, I told I told them I told them don't worry about it. I'll be fine. Like I was like I'm be straight. This this is the second time it happened to me. I'm good. But even even Jason was like because he's my roommate that trip. And he was like, he just, I knew he was going to be asleep. I got back at like 2 or 3 in the morning or something like that. He left me a note talking about, if you need anything, just, <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> but he ate his buffalo wings that night, but he, too. He, he, I he, ate <laughs> Jason took some of mine, too. So. <laughs> um, you know, talk about that relationship. And, and it's it's kind of been special for you guys. And I see you guys joking around on the court all the time uh, in, in warm-ups and things like that. But, you know, to, to do what you guys have done, uh, it, it's got to be a special friendship that you guys will always have for the rest of your life. Yeah, it was it was kind of weird when we first got here. Like it it was just like we was on a team together, but then it, it it was funny because ever since we started playing, it just it was just like a click in our mindset. It was just it was like we juniors on this team, and I know we gonna have to deal with each other the next year for our last year. So it was just it was funny how it just clicked. So and I was surprised too. He was surprised too. Well, you have to you have to understand too that before you guys got here, I mean, for Jay, the first couple of years, he'd go down the lane and make a, a sick pass to somebody who just maybe couldn't quite finish. So you and Cavell to have you guys show up at, when he was a junior was like a godsend for him. Yeah, he said, "Yeah, y'all gonna get us a, get me a lot of assists." <laughs> and he got mad when people missed this pass because he never like cause I remember I missed one pass and I and I he had never let me forget it. I missed one pass and it was during the conference tournament versus Stony Brook. End of the half. He passed it. I missed it. He said a half court just waiting for me to walk. <laughs> and he said, what is going on? <laughs> uh, Coach, we have about a minute, and I want to give you a chance to talk about Daryl here and, and what he's meant and uh, what he's meant to this program and and, and just uh, what a special kid you he really make is. this a very emotional moment for me, don't you? Uh, you know what? That's always my goal. My goal is always to have <laughs> Coach Monroe try to break down talking about his guys because I know well, – but that's a good thing, Coach, because I know how much you thing. care about your players. It's a great thing. You know, uh, it's – I mean, he's, he's just – I mean, can't.